Firmino? Because obviously you can learn a lot by watching that dude. Yeah, I learned a lot from me, though. You know, just be composed. He was composed all the time. He was, well, you know, just playing every snap of your heart as you can. You know, taking it to practice, transferring it to the uh, game. So just being able to just prepare mentally and physically, watching tons of film. Been able to take that out to the game, man. Like everything, see everything, see means to him. Like he's he, he's prepared. Is it kind of to see that guy that played in front of you going on to the NFL? How much does that serve as kind of an incentive for you and just seeing what it takes to get to that level? Uh, man, it makes me smile because uh, I play with that guy, practice with that guy for thirteen more than thirteen years. Over my, my, I would say two years. Now. Uh, I'm happy for him. I just feel like just watching him. It makes me feel better. I, I have confidence that I, I can uh, fill in the shoes for me. What kind of things are you looking at in practice just to get acclimated and things that you're targeting just to, to get going with it? Uh, just, I feel like just getting out of my routes faster. That like, for that, that make me more complete, like playing more urgency. Hmm. What's sort of uh, been like the coach of Guano and then uh, the play callers, what have they been kind of communicating to you? Uh, the play call has been like, it, I feel like the play call has been the same, I could say. Uh, nothing difficult with it. It's just being able to soak the play calls in and just put it out in the field. Mm-hmm. I know you've talked about it already, AJ, but if you just readdress, what it's like for you to have this opportunity to uh, step up in Eno's place? Well, that's a big opportunity, man, because everybody looking at that running back position. You know, say, like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm just ready to play. It's a big opportunity for me like, to show my talents. Like, it's been 13 weeks now for me to uh, display what I can do. And you've had two years in this system. So w- what have you picked up? What have you learned? And what did you learn from Eno while you were I learned a lot of stuff from the, from the playbook and from Eno as well. You know, just watching Eno. Just watching Eno, man. Just, uh, just watching Eno, man. It's like, it's, it's, that's a good dude, I can say. Mm-hmm. You know, just soaking up everything from him. I feel like he, he gave me confidence to play. Because, like, him, him takes all the time. He gave me confidence. He gave me little keys, like, to look at, stuff to do. What qualities of his impressed you the most? Uh, his toughness, man. That dude tough, man. He showed me that Utah game. It's tough as that Utah game. Mm-hmm. What in particular about that game? Their defense uh, and such? Oh, yeah, their defense. Them dudes are hitting that game, man. Mm-hmm. For real, they was hitting. And like, he never did back down, you know. It was like, what, 20-something degrees out there that, that game. You know, he was he was hype. Mm-hmm. Only one hype out there. He was hype, ready to play. He brought the energy of that game to the entire offense. How about the way he runs with the football? Oh, yeah, he run, he, run, he run violent. That's one thing I like about him. For him to be little like that, he run real violent. What's your thought about going up against a team like Florida State, a uh, big-name program that's kind of been down last couple of years? So they have been down. I just feel like I just I have to come with it. The entire offense has to come in with it. But I usually have Frank Darby to step up. I have to step up. Fit in those shoes as well. You know, just everybody has to play a complete game. We have to win. Mm-hmm. AJ, uh, Greg Moore, Arizona Republic, to the siege man. What's it mean to you that Cole is going to play in this game? That means a lot, you know. He have he have the experience. It's like he's a four-year starter. You know, he'll better give out all the calls as well, all the audibles, stuff like that. You know, he'll, he'll have everybody on the offense ready. And we've seen the offensive line grow as a unit over the year. What's it mean to you to be able to run behind them at this point in the season? Oh, it feels good. I feel like it's a good time that I am able to run behind them because they all motor together. They know what to do. They know their assignments now. You know, they've been, they've been to their assignments, but I feel like they're more comfortable.